Today we have a brand new build of the Android 13 Pixel Experience ROM port over to Microsoft's Surface Duo to test with some really big stuff included. So there's a fix for applications that were looking for Surface Duo configuration files that are not present in this ROM crashing, so that should be fixed. Apps like OneNote and things like that should work properly now. There is an option here that a lot of people are gonna be really happy to see, the ability to hide the hinge gap or disable the hinge gap, if you don't know what I mean. We'll get to look at that here in just a little bit. Support for folding device states and then a split screen divider adjustment to make it match the size of the hinge. Another really, really nice fix. Now in this video, rather than going through the installation process that we did the first time where we used the DSU side loader, we're actually going to be flashing this to the storage so it's going to only be running the Pixel Experience ROM. I figure at this point, probably not going to be any more substantial Surface Duo updates from Microsoft, so I don't really need to keep rolling with that. We're just going to fully commit ourselves to the Pixel Experience ROM that Ty is creating, and we're going to go that right now. If you want to keep doing the DSU side loader route, there is basically the same process in place that you already did to get the first build running to get this new updated build running. The only thing that you need to do is hit that discard button just like this, and that will basically trash the installation that you've already done, and then you just go through that same process once again, as you saw in that first video, and you're up and running. But again, what we're gonna do is going to be different. We're gonna actually fully flash it and go from there. So to do this, you're going to need ADB on your computer. I've explained this, I feel like, about a million times, but I'll explain it one more time. There's a link in the description. Scroll down, click on the appropriate link for yourself. Mine is Windows. Scroll down, tick the box. Download the SDK platform. Now in your download folder, whichever folder it is you use, we're going to extract this with whatever extracting tool you use. Platform tools is your folder. I recommend renaming this to ADB copying it and pasting it into the root of your C drive. It's just going to make everything you do from here that much easier. You can see mine here, tons of extra things in it just from things that I've been doing, but that's gonna make your life a lot easier. You're also going to need your bootloader unlocked. So on your Duo, you have to have developer mode going. So go to about, go to build number, tap it a bunch of times, developer options, go into developer options, look for OEM unlocking, tick that box, then plug in your computer, ADB reboot bootloader, these commands will be down below, and then fast boot flashing unlock. This is going to wipe your device. I'm sorry, it's gonna be wiped again shortly after this anyways. Get it kind of set back up again, get your developer mode back enabled again, and then we can continue from there. So this is our link here for the new image. We've clicked on it, we've downloaded it. Now let's jump over here. This is the image. We're gonna right click on that. We're gonna use WinRAW or 7-Zip, whatever you wanna use. Use, and we're just going to extract here. This will take a little bit of time. So once that is done, we're going to have our system image. I'm going to rename it 13.img just to make the uh, process later on a little bit easier. Of course, again, stuff I've covered a million times. Surface Duo in developer mode, plugged in, ADB up and running. We're going to open up ADB, CD into your ADB folder, all that good stuff. And then from there, we're going to do ADB reboot fast boot and hit enter. If we switch to the overhead camera, you'll see that my Duo has now rebooted and it should be booting into that fast boot screen here shortly. And as you can see, that is the screen that we are now on. And from here, we have a whole bunch of different commands that we're going to have to run. I'm going to put all of these in the description in the order that I'm doing them in. And I want to say this really quickly before we go any further. If you do this and you break your device, I am not responsible for it. Things can go wrong in this process. Your device could be rendered unusable, which is to say a break. If that happens again, sorry, it could happen to mine in the course of filming this. Anything could happen. So just be aware of the risk that you are taking. So the first command here is this one, delete logical partitions. We are deleting partitions, guys. This is some scary stuff. So we're going to hit enter and it has done that. We're going to paste in the next one and we're going to run it. Same thing. We're just deleting partitions. All those have been done. Now we're going to flash the new image. Now to make this easier, I'm going to take that 13.img and I'm going to put it into the root of my ADB folder. 
this will just make the command a whole lot easier because otherwise you're gonna have to type in a whole long path to the things. But instead I can do fastboot flash system 13.img and it should see it and it should start flash and I'm not sure what this invalid sparse file format at header magic is, but it appears as though it is doing its job. We're gonna give this a minute and then we'll run the final command. Honestly, that did not take very long at all. We're going to run the final command, fastboot reboot minus W, and let's see what happens. I'm going to hit that, and we are going to go to the overhead camera, and let's see if uh, we got a Microsoft logo. Of course, my bootloader is unlocked. Theoretically, if everything went according to plan, we should be shortly greeted by a screen uh, asking us to set up our pixel and then I will have to go through that process once again, and then we'll jump into kind of what has changed in this new build. Fingers crossed. Everyone cross your fingers for me. And there we go. We are now into that setup process. So let me go uh, get this done, and then we'll look at the changes. All right, so here we are up and running. As you can see here, there's no option here to like reboot to go back into the regular operating system because that's not an option anymore. I am in this now for good. So the first thing I wanna test is see if these applications that were crashing before OneNote is a good example are still crashing. So let's jump into the Play Store and let's go ahead and install OneNote, which I spelled incorrectly. Let's open this up and hey, look at that. We are absolutely functional. Very, very cool. Let's sign in. And as you can see here, everything's working relatively well. The cutoff, maybe you can see, is just slightly in the wrong position, but it is at least functional where before it was not. So that is a good thing. Now, Ty says he also adjusted the gap between two split screening apps. So let's just open up settings and then we'll grab Google Photos and drag it up there. And yeah, it looks like this is looking pretty good. Now it looks like it is splitting between the two applications potentially in a better way. So definitely some good stuff there. And the last thing that we need to do is under PHH treble settings, surface duo features, disable hinge gaps. We're gonna tick that and then we're going to reboot and get a look at how that's gonna be treating us. Okay, so we are now logged back in and as you can see here what's happening is instead of us now losing data underneath the hinge, it's ignoring the hinge and spreading everything out. The default behavior for Surface Duo was to lose data under the hinge. So now that is gone. You'll be able to see everything, but as you can see, with certain things, it's going to look potentially a little bit weird. The good news here is you can pick your preference now. And I don't think that this is going to affect split screen. Actually, look at that. So it is affecting the split screen. You can actually see the little handle sticking out now. Can I actually grab it? I can. So it's actually making the handle sort of visible on either side. That is an interesting side effect of that. And again, the icon down here, you can really see what's happening, that it's being cut in half and then spread apart. So again, you can pick whichever way you want this to act. You can pick your preference now. So guys, there you go. Like I said, I'm going to drop a link to everything I've talked about in the description down below. I'm also going to paste in all of the commands that you saw me run. If you do exactly what I did, you should be okay. Huge shout out once again to Ty for the great work that they are doing, uh, bringing this Pixel Experience ROM to the Surface Duo. Very, very cool. Love to see the progress being made. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.